Welcome to the Southern Rhone. That can only mean two things, wine and cycling. Spectacular, but brutal. This is the summit of Mont Ventoux. It's one of the windiest places you'll ever see. The winds could get up to 300 kilometers per hour here. And this sort of wind, the Mistral, it's called, this shapes the growing conditions for all of the vineyards down there on the mountainside. So the currents can change all the time. So you get big bits of wind coming up and then flying down the mountain. So the wines around Vontu, they've got a bit of freshness. We've got sandy, loamy soils here. It's not your heat retaining gallet stones that you get in Chateauneuve. This is slightly different. One of the key things about Vontu's wine region is the diurnal range. So you can wake up in the morning and it's zero and then after lunch, gets up to 20 degrees. It's a pain in the arse because you don't know what to wear. You have to take about three outfits with you. It's very interesting to have big trees around your vineyard. Not too much, but at least a few of them. Uh, it's interesting for biodiversity. A lot of biodiversity. You've yeah, got, you've got olive trees, olive trees, trees, this grass trees. here. It's very dry during the summer to have a lot of trees with a lot of shades, a lot of uh, grass. Just a little the, bit more humidity. Yeah, the, um, so you have greener the grass. The quantity of humidity that you can find, you will keep it. The thing I like the most about these wines is that they've got loads of power but loads of freshness. And all of that is down to the Vontu microclimate, all them winds and stuff, and just being a little bit cooler than some of the other Appalachians. 400 meters altitude, old vines. The vines that they've got out the front there, planted in 1942, so really concentrated wines. As we are between the Dentelle de Montmirail and the Mont Ventoux, we are less exposed to the Mistral than uh, Chateauneuf du Pape, Rasto, or Gigondas. Do a little microclimate? Yeah, it's a kind of microclimate. Uh, and especially on the north side of the Mont Ventoux. During the summer, you can feel a difference of five to eight degrees between uh, Carpentras and Malocène. So nice. it's much cooler here. For example, the Syrahs coming from here, even if we harvest them at the good time, it's never more than 13 degrees and a half of alcohol. So it's very nice to have not so much alcohol in a wine coming from the south of France. The wines from all of the different sites are so distinct that they've actually started separating them into different cuvées. These two wines here are made out of Syrah. They're exactly the same in every way. The only difference is the soil, and they're dramatically different. The top wine is called La Pierre Noire. When I was drinking it, I was thinking that I was drinking Northern Rhone Syrah, but then it's got all of this Southern Rhone richness and generous fruit as well. I haven't tasted anything like that down here. I came here because I like the big, powerful Chateauneuf wines, and I like cycling as well. But what I discovered was You've got all of the magic of the big Chateauneuf wines, but with a bit more drinkability. Freshness from them winds, from the north side of Vontoux where it's a bit cooler, from that bit of altitude, it really makes a big difference. And when you visit the top wineries like saint jean de Barreau, you see why they're the best wines, because they've got loads of biodiversity, they've got trees surrounding the vineyards, they've got slightly cooler microclimates, and that makes a difference as well. Okay. 